Spear phishing led to medical records HIPAA hack and insurer to pay $10 million. Respiratory illness outbreak at retirement home kills two and sickens dozens more. And an aide becomes the eighth charged with nursing home resident abuse since Michigan's Elder Abuse Task Force formed in March. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, July 17th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Premier Blue Cross, the largest health insurer in the Pacific Northwest, will pay $10.4 million to 30 states to resolve HIPAA violations. For close to a year, a hacker accessed the Premier network to collect sensitive personal information, including health information, social security numbers, dates of birth, and more. Starting in May 2014, the hacker created an email that appeared to be from the company's IT department and then asked the employee to enter user credentials. Despite misspelling the company's domain name and making other errors, the hacker persuaded the employee to take part. That allowed malware onto the network, which gave the hacker access to nearly 10 million people. Primera, which is based near Seattle, will pay $5.4 million to Washington. It proposed to, among other states, implement data security controls, provide security reports to the Washington Attorney General Office, and review practices annually. The health insurer user settled a class action lawsuit for $74 million earlier this year. A respiratory illness outbreak at a Virginia assisted living facility has left two people dead and sent 18 others to the hospital, health officials said last Thursday. The Fairfax County Health Department is investigating after 54 of the 263 residents at Green Spring Retirement Community, located in Springfield, became ill with respiratory symptoms ranging from a cough to pneumonia over the past 11 days. Investigators are working to identify the cause of the outbreak. The facility has been closed to new patients while group activities have been canceled and ill residents are quarantined in their rooms. The outbreak was reported in the facility's assisted living and skilled nursing sections. Other symptoms include fever and wheezing, according to a July 10th letter from Green Springs directions to residents. Health officials said respiratory outbreaks at facilities housing vulnerable older adult populations are not uncommon, but health officials usually see about five to 10 outbreaks a year in winter and flu season. This outbreak was different because it occurred in July. We'll be back right after this break. Mark my daddy on the news. This is my daughter. Her name is Izzy Henning. She's two years old. Have a good day. Have a good day. jobs growth rate stood at two. I'm looking forward to working with you to make This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week. Watch my daddy on the news. <laughs>